My question is um, about getting married. I have really strong feelings for somebody who's a non-Muslim guy and I'm not in a haram relationship with him and I'm seeking um, I'm seeking help from Allah to, uh, by praying and my parents want me to get married and I I just can't. I feel like if I get married to someone else, it would be a deception to them. What should I do? First of all, do you want to follow Sharia or do you want to follow your whims and desires? I want to follow Sharia. Okay. In this situation, wanting to marry a kafir, are you following Sharia or are you following your whims and desires? I, I, I will not marry him if he does not. You did not answer me. Would you ask the question again? Please? In this situation where you want to get married to this kafir, are you following Sharia in the whole situation of knowing him, of wanting to marry him and thinking of the future? Are you following Sharia or your whims and desires? Whims and desires. Khalas, you answered your question. Listen to me, my daughter. This is shaitan. This person as he is, we don't judge him. No, we judge him. He's a kafir. He does this believer. He insults Allah. He thinks all the wrong things about our religion. Even if he claims that, no, 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 I believe Islam is good and Muhammad is a good messenger, blah, blah, blah. If you believe, accept Islam. Um, I'll take my time, you know, don't pressure me. He's a kafir. Your allegiance, your feelings towards anyone alive should be based on Islam, on Sharia. Even with your parents, they love Allah, they pray, I love them, I'm dutiful to them. So this man at the moment is beyond question. And you have to block any satanic and evil feelings you have because this is purely from shaitan. What are the treats and characteristics that would draw me to him? He fears Allah. He loves our Prophet Muhammad No, he's just handsome. He has a good job. He has a good car. His character is good. He's a kafir. He's a dweller of hellfire. If he does not accept Islam. If he accepts Islam and becomes a real Muslim, that's a different story. But till then, don't put all the eggs in one basket. You drop the basket, you lose your capital. Someone comes who's religious, Muslim, good job, good looking, good family. And you say, I will deceive him. No, you will not. The moment you get married to this Muslim man, this kafir would vanish in thin air because he has nothing to compare with this Muslim who says la ilaha illallah. So follow Sharia and do not follow your whims and desires. May Allah send your way and the way of every Muslim and Muslimah who are looking for a marriage, a good, righteous, beautiful, handsome, rich spouse that would give them happiness in this life and would accompany them in Jannatun Naim.